That comes to the last question here, which is, what is your favorite horror trope? Favorite All right, horror so trope. This mm. was probably my hardest one because tropes annoy the shit out of me, right? So most tropes are stupid. That's why they're tropes, but they work in these movies. But I got one. I figured out one. And it's kind of a guilty pleasure trope. Uh, it's that last thing. Whatever that may be, like the, the killer's head's chopped off. Oh, no, it wasn't. He pops back up. He's still alive. Whatever that lasts like three or four minutes in a movie, I think it's a major trope. It's very cliche, but I fall for it, and I love it every time. What about you, Jack? Uh, so, obviously, you guys should know mine because I always say this line all the time. Get laid, get killed. So, obviously, the death to the fornicators, that is like one of the biggest tropes in – in yeah, but you're stuck in the eighties, clearly, right? So that doesn't like eh, all the. Gr- it still happens it's, today. It that trope running off, and, and John Carper didn't didn't even try to set that trope up. He says it was accidental. He was just saying that Jamie Lee Curtis was more aware than the other girls getting nailed. He doesn't mean it for a purality type thing. But it's still but for me, it's that final scare. It's still a trope. I mean, regardless, no, it's, right. it's still a trope. You're right. I mean, and I'll have I have another one written down too. Another one that I really enjoy is the Harbinger of Doom. You know, I love that. Like, you're going to die. Camp Crystal Lake is the got the death cuss. Oh, like the old guy that's warning you at the <laughs> yeah. beginning of the movie. Yeah, the Harbinger of Doom. Yeah, so yeah, that, those- that's a big trope. That Cabin in the Woods has has one of the better ones. All right, did the did the Harbinger of Dooms do his line right? I- that one was very, very good. It was good. But it's still that final last minute scene in the current movie we have, spoiler, when he's touching the mirror at the end. That 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 was kind of more of a cliffhanger, but like that whole thing, I'm with it. Yeah, no, I that's a good one too, but definitely when, when you see when you see two uh young lads uh, getting it on, you know you're about to have a splatter scene. So two two young lads. Yes. Two fellas? No. You're, to, you're having your you're watching a lot of gay horror? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm, it's cool, man. I don't judge. Like, live your life. I, you know, no, I don't, I don't I mean, mind like, at all. Two youngins is what I meant. What to do you say. think? What do you think, Mike? Um, I well, I think you guys hit my favorite horror tropes. Uh, Jason hit one of my favorite horror tropes is um, you know, titties in all the cities. Um, but <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I. Uh, uh, we just like that. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I, mean, I, mean. I I like the trope, though. You know what I mean? I like that in comedies, too. I, I, especially when you get into, I mean, Jason was talking about like 80s movies and stuff like that. I, you know, some of the, I think there were way more tropes back. I think people make fun of the tropes nowadays where like they actually were the tropes in the 80s, right? Like they just kept going yeah. over them. Um, like Scare Package, the original one has like the girl running on a treadmill and keeps like falling because they're making fun of it. But, um, Anyway, that was that hilarious. is uh, that is that is our time. So that ends uh, 